Om Shanti, everyone. Lot of realizations come when we practice. And also we experience that how to maintain one quality, one power, we need the support of many qualities. Mm -hmm. Today I noticed that if humility is lost because there is lack of patience, or sometimes inner peace, there is some kind of conflict, struggle within the mind, so you cannot be humble. And also love is very important. When you love, you have you are always careful that you don't hurt anyone's feeling. So humility basically comes from self-respect. When we start doubting self, we forget our self-worth or we compare with someone else. Mm -hmm. So self-respect is lost. So one is, of course, ego. Other is self-respect. Mm -hmm. And basically, low self-respect suddenly appears in some. Mm -hmm. But Baba, in the last poll, he had said that your self-respect is your Master Almighty. It's a very high authority, high position, right? It's our inheritance, it's our birthright, it's our attainment. All three. So Master Almighty. So whenever huh, Baba went talked about kingdom also. That is divided kingdom when Maya enters. Right? So my own inner self-sovereignty is lost. I am not in control then. Maya is in charge. So Maya creates thoughts, words. So maintaining the self-respect of Master Almighty. Because we cannot go back again and again and allow our sanskars to take over, take over our sovereignty. It feels like that sometimes. Mm. So wrong thoughts, negative thoughts, useless thoughts. Not only that, but too much thoughts, right? All that is Maya's kingdom. So I really liked when Baba said internally, your self-sovereignty, it gets divided rule. But also, as Baba said just now, Srimad, when I'm using my mind, is it what Baba would approve of my thoughts? Are these thoughts according to Srimad? Mm -hmm. So Maya keeps making rounds, right? Whenever Maya see uh, that soul is in not good states, uh, takes over self-sovereignty. So it's really, really, uh, you have to pay a lot of attention because when there is lack of self-respect, then mm. what we think, the things we say for others, is not looking at uh, not only speciality, but appreciate. Mm -hmm. Everyone is doing for Baba, for Yagya. They do as much they can. There is honesty. I have to appreciate. And look at the speciality of each soul. 
because if we are establishing god's kingdom divine kingdom then we need to have that attitude which is very important for every soul in yagya lot of love lot of respect and i i have seen that if you do that everyone will respect you so if we have to become worthy of worship then we have to respect everyone we have to have bhavna for everyone everyone when i am saying not that for few we have for few we don't have mm-hmm. so i feel that in when we are worship worthy or when we are in new world divine world most important thing is harmony in relationships mm-hmm. even if i might say my intentions are good but intentions and pure feelings no baba said bhav and bhavna they both have to be uh, very pure very divine very elevated so this is how using our powers makes us worthy of worship and always always have bhavna first you lose bhavna towards your own self so when you lose self respect you lose bhavna right either you think i am very special or you think i am no no worth <laughs> both are not right and that is why it is very very important to have bhavna pure feelings for yourself for everyone for everything actually even for the nature and as much you have bhavna there will be contentment because contentment when is not there a very subtle mm-hmm. some kind of distractive this destructive attitude emerges mm-hmm. so worship for the what is shown when we see these goddesses being worshiped they have all the weapons they have all the ornaments they have lotus flower even you know we know all these things but to emerge them sword is shown why chakra is shown so we have to be sudarshan chakra mm-hmm. and it's so interesting that we when we have sword and sudarshan chakra mm-hmm. then how the sanskars keep emerging or you know, maya keep making trips right you see if we are little careless to or take so if i have knowledge the sword of knowledge i can use it so now is the time really to be the embodiment image no? because that is why baba said first kingdom then dharma dharma and dharna of purity to maintain law and order dharna is important otherwise certainly internally we breaking the law of shrimat by having waste thoughts complaints lack of contentment is losing dharma that is it's so not pure souls will not act like that so i like very much when baba said kingdom dharma and law and order of shrimat no order is of shrimat mm-hmm. and then 
because if i have to become worship worthy from worshiper right what a worshiper does mm-hmm. always ask always beg but when you change from worshiper to worship worthy mm-hmm. you have all attainments all powers all inheritance birth right life of attainment so from worshiper to worship worthy so if our aim is to become worship worthy mm-hmm. then we need to have dharna bhavna is important dharna is important and because soul and body both are pure that is why they are worshiped at confluence age we are not worship worthy because elements are not pure body is not pure so if soul and body when both become pure in the sense that we through the body through the elements we do every action as pure action through my eyes the words i speak hands i use feet i use every part of the body is used for pure and elevated actions so nature becomes also pure so baba said not only through mind but even through body you cannot do uh, your eyes your mouth whether speaking whether eating so if soul and body both becomes pure baba says that sangam you one plus said you can be praise worthy but not worship worthy yes whatever are your specialties whatever your services is praised so you become worthy of praise but not worthy of worship because body is not pure as you all know that brahma baba uh, he used to come to delhi so we will go at train station first he never like the crowd said only two three come not like big crowds when gurus come and and baba never accepted garland never yes bouquet of flowers we could give but never bore garland and these days there are many many who just take it in hand the garland because baba used to say two things one is shri baba won't accept this if she baba is in his body and other he used to say that body is not pure so it cannot be worshiped present time people do use lot of garlands right whether gurus or also in our family right but not brahma baba never did it because baba says no you are not worship worthy so a lot of attention my attention goes on mm. how our air each part of the body follows shri vat and does elevated actions so baba says even when you are doing ordinary action i am doing for baba i am doing for yagya mm. so all the time constantly you are thinking your awareness is elevated baba used to say i remember that baba used to tell mothers when you are cooking uh, don't keep thinking oh my child will come eat this he likes this and eat cook for baba so you have to offer baba first and then feed them there's difference i am cooking for someone or i am cooking for baba even knowing that we all will eat together so is really the consciousness inside 
cooking of uh, cooking brahma bhojan for baba of course all the children will eat that so even whatever we plan internally for bhog thinking of baba and of course baba baba is you know accept it and then all the children uh, they eat everything on the brahma bhojan right? but internal awareness mm-hmm. not of attachment but is for baba so they also could get power from that brahma bhojan baba used to joke sometimes that there are very few yogi so so cook generally they give lectures and all that so sometimes he will say maybe i should cook <laughs> i should make two chapatis and yogurt and dal <laughs> because sometimes he used to find that when who is cooking doesn't have good yoga baba he used to say i need Uh, food which is cooked by yogi so pure than yogi pure definitely they are but to have remembrance while cooking is something very very important mm. so baba and been saying so much follow shriman have the accumulation of elevated actions the saving of that mm-hmm. because if we need uh, in golden age we are so full right we can give everyone what we need to accumulate now so that we can give to everyone so becoming worship worthy <laughs> so very very elevated pure thought baba has given us that aim but we have to reflect more and more on that and become one divine virtues complete purity following shrimat completely and deity is always fill fulfill the desires of others but their desires have been fulfilled we don't have any desire we have no baba sustains us baba is taking care of us only one desire is to remain constantly in baba's remembrance so we have been listening but as we practice whole day as i say a lot of realizations come and we pay attention to uh, do dharna of those realizations om shanti